Joseph here again. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to use this designer liner and draw a cat on a mug. I have this book that I bought from Joanne Fabric um, two years ago and it's called Whimsical Scapes. There's so many drawings here and uh, this that's how I found my cat drawing and uh, I found a perfect surface mug that I think it will be successful to draw the cat on. Uh, actually earlier I already did one and here it is. It's almost dry. There is another cat at the back. There's a little bird, some flowers, and there's another cat. So let me start showing you how to draw this cat. To start drawing our cat, you have to have a very good lead pencil and a sharpener. Make sure you sharpen your pencil and the tip is perfectly pointed. This mug is a stoneware clay and I did paint this with one coat of white underglaze just to set it up whiter like a primer so I will start with drawing I will pick this cat right here and um, here it is As you see, I put the tail of the cat on the other side to match the handle shape on my drawing here at the book. The tail is on the right side and here I put the tail on the left side matching the handle. So the next step is to use the designer liner to outline my drawing. and. I make sure I have a um, sponge ready on the side. Why? Because this needle right here inside is, is important and I cannot lose it. So I will put it on top of my sponge right there. So it will never go away. Plus the sponge is wet and if I need to clean the tip, it will be ready. So The designer liner is very easy to use. It's basically squeezing down and it's a lot of timing. So make sure you have enough ink. Oopsie, I mean always glaze, not ink. There you go. Squeeze and outline. So I'm going to start doing it freehand right here. Freehand, meaning the designs on the cat, I will be doing it mostly on my own, depending on the thickness of the designer liner. So let me start with the head. 
freehand, what I meant is just following the outline of my drawing. Make sure you can see it. So I will still be glazing, coloring them, and um, 
finish off with clear glaze on top and stay tuned for the next video i'll be working on some birds next time